decided to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. First, I'd like to point out that sometimes this matter of economy is carried much too far. A bargain's a bargain, of course, but not when you are getting actually inferior products on the promise that they will save you money. For instance, did you know that there are imitations of Horlicks which are decidedly inferior products? Many of them, you should know, use skim milk instead of the rich, full cream milk that Horlicks uses. Many contain a lot of ordinary sugar and inferior malt powder instead of Horlicks selected wheat and choicest malted barley. And many are just mechanical mixtures of cheap ingredients, while Horlicks is made by the special Horlicks process and is famous all over the world. So it will pay you to think twice about buying those so-called bargains in malted milk. Insist on getting Horlicks, the original and genuine. It contains concentrated, easily digested nutriment. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. You know, Lum quit Abner's employ last week and promptly joined forces with Squire Skimp in a new enterprise the Squire is starting. Last Friday, Lum was informed that he had been chosen as president of the new company, but as yet we haven't learned exactly what kind of business the Squire is getting into. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Abner alone down at the Jotham Down store. The telephone is just ringing. Listen. Got him down, sir. And let anybody talking. Well, how are you, Miss Phillips? Uh-huh. Well. Why, well, I've got some, but I ain't got no way of delivering it over there. No, ma. Well, I ain't got no help here in the store, and I just can't lock up to make a deliver. I have been trying to, but I can't find nobody. I don't reckon your husband won't work down here, would he? Uh-huh. Invested in what? Oh, yeah, yeah. I believe I heard somebody else say something about buying some of that, too. Yeah, honey, Abner, honey. Huh? Oh, uh, come in, Grand Champ. I'll be down here in just a minute. Oh, yeah, go right ahead, Abner. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Phillips, that I can't do that with that. I could bring it by to you on the way home tonight. Oh, you do? Well, thank you anyway. All right. Goodbye. How are you, Grandpa? Uh, probably, I reckon, Abner. My woman said you left word for me to come over here to the store when I got in. You wanted to see me. Yeah, yeah, sit down, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, how would you like to go back to work for me here in the store? Is that what you wanted to see me about? Yeah, I just got to have some help in here. This thing's just more than I can look at by myself. Oh, yeah, and I don't much believe I'd be interested, Abner. Well, I'll pay you good wages. Give you $10 a week. Well, there was a time when that sound awful big to me, Abner, but not anymore. Why, it's as much now as it ever was. Uh, it sounds like chicken feed to me. Like chicken feed? Well, yeah, small thing. Well, now, that $10 a week would come in mighty handy, Grandpa. That's $40 a month. We collect that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good enough way you reckon, Abner, for anybody that needs the money. Personal, I'm sort of figuring on retiring myself. Just quitting work and taking life easy. I'll have more money than I know what to do with anyway. Well, oh, money you know what to do with. Well, I ain't got a kid, but I will have it. Oh, uh, some of your relations leave you something? No, no, just a little invest I made. A friend of mine let me in on a proposition. Well, uh, what is it, Grandpa? Well, I ain't supposed to say nothing about it, but I'll tell you. Uh, I bought a little stock in a silver mine out in Arizona, so I'm kind of a millionaire now, sort of. Oh, yeah, yeah, Uncle Henry Lockwood was telling me yesterday that he bought some stock in there. The uh, Great Western Sterling Silver Company, I believe he called it. Yeah, yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah. Yeah. Great Western Sterling Silver Company. And I never knowed Uncle Henry was into something. I have to have charity in back them over to the place some night. Us being partners in business together now, you might say. Well, Miss Phillips was just now telling me on the phone that Luther bought some of it, too. Well, good for Luther. Good for him. It'll make him rich. Well. Yeah, sure it will. I ought to go by and see him, I reckon, tell him how glad I am he's in the company with me. But I reckon he'll be over to the party tonight. I can tell him over there. Party? Who's having a party? Well, it ain't exactly a party. Banquet, I believe they call it. They're having it down at the lodge hall tonight. Just for the 400 set in Pine Ridge, the millionaires. 
A millionaire? Yeah, I spoke to thought stock in the Great Western Sterling Silver Company. Oh. People ain't going to mix and mingle around here like they used to, Abner. They're more likely to be a dividing line draw the monster. So, so. So they're separating the sheep from the goats and all. Well, they ain't taking sheep and goats into society, too, Alex. Well, now, what I mean, Abner, we're going to have uh, to give it up. Wait a minute. I, I believe that's my rain grandfather. More likely somebody else wanting something to be delivered. That's blame it. Hello! Peabody got them down, sir. Huh? Oh, hello, honey. <laughs> have I did what? Honey, for goodness sake. Uh, no, I ain't bought no stock in nothing. Why? Oh, yeah, Grandpappy Spears is just now tell me about that. Yeah, a bank he said they was having. Uh-huh. Well, I don't reckon we can, according to what Grandpap said. Well... Nobody can go with that damn it's bought stock in that silver mine. That's what he said. Well, now, don't take on that away. Well, I'd love to go, too, but if we ain't invited, we can't go. Oh, my sweet lady, man. Who? She did. Now, what she got to be getting so office about? Oh. Well, she better come down here and pay up what she owes instead of putting on airs that way. Well, next time she treats you that way, just let me know and I'll send her a dun for what she owes me. No, I wouldn't do that, honey. If they don't want us, well, let's just stay home. Well, now, don't fret over it. Just recollect, you're just as good as they are, ever bet. Society or no society. All right, honey. Goodbye. Is that your woman, Abner? Yeah, she's all tore up because we ain't invited to that banquet tonight. Yeah, that is a shame. Y'all can't be there. Got the biggest affairs they've ever been held here in Pine Ridge, I reckon. It's going to be formal, you know. It's going to be what? Formal. And men folks has got to wear their coats. Oh, well, I'm glad I ain't going in. I know I wouldn't like that. No, i tell you the truth, Abner, I don't need that. Me with a new pair of pink sleeve holders that I ain't never had a chance to wear yet, too. Well, only thing I hate about it, Elizabeth wants to go so bad. She says she's the only one in her circle of the missionary society that ain't been invited. And the others is snubbing her. Yeah, well, that's the trouble with society, Emma. It's it cruel sometimes. Lots of wrangling mixed up in it. Yeah. I say the widow Abernathy and Sister Simpson had a big argument this morning about which one of them's going to sit on the right side of the toasted master tonight. Yeah, well, them two are always trying to outdo one another. If both of them belong to that 400 cent, well, they'll have it divided right square and two. Have two 200 cents out of it before they yeah, get it. With your ring, I believe, Abner. Uh oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe. Uh, hopefully the best ain't been in some of it again. Hello. Got them down, sir. Mom? Oh. Any what? No, my reckon not. I never even heard of it. Well, uh, what's it like? Well, what are you supposed to do with it? Yeah, well, wait a minute. Dan Tapp, have I got any caviar? Any what? Why, why, skimp woman's wanting some caviar, but her and me neither one don't know what it is. Uh, she must have the name wrong, I never heard of that name. Tell her you ain't got it. Yeah. Hello? No, Mom, I looked. I ain't got it. I sold the last one I had just a while ago. I got some nice cars in my last if they'll do. Abner, yeah, here comes Cedric. You might get him to go back to work for you. Huh? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, I'm awful sorry, Miss Kim. I'll put it on my walk list. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Yeah, I don't know whether to ask the dry goods salesman or the hardware salesman for it. Well, howdy, Mr. Abner. Hello, Grandpa. Yeah, Cedric, you're the very fellow I want to see. Yeah, Abner's got some good news for you, Cedric. Yes, sir. <laughs> How would you like to go back to work here in a store for me, Cedric? Well, I don't hardly know. I... I'll give you $5 a week. Well, that sounds good, all right, but I ain't working no more nowadays, though. Ain't working? No, ma, I don't aim to ever hit another tap. Just spend all my time spending my money. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, Cedric. Have you bought some of that silver mining stock, too? Yes, Mom. <laughs> how'd, how'd you find it out? Well, I figured you had. Dad, blame it, ain't you nobody left around this town that wants to work? I don't know. Moe's Luke closed up his barber shop a while ago, locked the front door, and throwed the key away. <laughs> he ain't going to work no more, neither. Well, uh, Swan, too, goodness. I think the folks around here is losing their reason, if you don't mind, Ocean, don't it? Whoever's selling all that stock is just ruining the town. 
Why, if he's doing everybody a big favor and start letting them in on it, Abner. Well, I hope you're right. Boy, we're going to make all kinds of money out of it. see, I've got it down here somewhere as I set the figures down. Yeah, here it is. Uh, for $25, that's a half a stock I bought. I'm going to get back $4,064 by next March. For the land sale. Yeah, and $100 worth will make me better than $16,000. Well, here comes Law Matters. Oh, doubtless he ain't coming in here. Yeah, I believe he is, Abner. I don't he ain't even been speaking for me. Maybe he wants to make up with me. And <laughs> Lum's a fine man, Abner. Here's some easy stories. I don't know what folks around here do without him. I know we got bound to him and Squire's had a falling out already. He's coming back over here to ask me for his job back. <laughs> I figured they wouldn't get along together when Lum joined up with him. Lum's a good man, all right, but he just never has learned how to take orders. He wants to be the boss of everything. And I don't think he's wanting his job back at my friend. Well, well, come in, Lum. Come well, in. How do you do, gentlemen? How do you do? Is the proprietor in? Is the who in? The proprietor, the boss. The fellow that owns this business. Well, what's the matter to you, Lum? You know what I own this business. I'm the boss. Well, good evening, sir. I want to introduce myself. Edward is my name. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, have one of my cards. One of Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Much obliged. Doggy, <laughs> that's a right nice-looking leather case you've got them in there. Oh, yeah. All us big businessmen have to carry pieces out to let folks know who they are. Start coming right out and saying so. The Great Western Sterling Silver Company. Lum Edwards, Paz. President? You mean it's you're the president? Uh, Mr. Peabody, if you'd be so kind as to spare me a few minutes of your time, I'd like to show you property. Well, it looks like our old friend Lum is responsible for all this sudden wealth in Pine Ridge. Here's a letter from Mrs. Ben Adams of Waverly, Ohio, which shows to good advantage the use of Horlick's tablets for young children. My small son loves sweet things to eat. I was told that these weren't good for him, but I hated taking away from him something he enjoyed so much. I wondered what I could give him to take their place. One day, I happened to purchase a bottle of Horlick's tablets for myself. I'd been listening to Lum and Abner and knew that Horlick's were good for children, so I gave my little boy one. My problem was immediately solved. He actually loves Horlick's tablets now, in preference to the sweet things he used to like so much. Well, that's fine, Mrs. Adams. You certainly won't make a mistake giving him Horlick's. Horlick's tablets contain many essential elements and vitamins for building strong bodies and firm bones and sound teeth and are fine for all youngsters. Mothers, you can get Horlick's tablets at your dealers in either natural or chocolate flavor. This is Carlton Brickert, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlick, who now bid you all goodbye until tomorrow at the same time.